My salvation, beginning in early grade school, was the liberal arts. It was reading, exploring, and dreaming. Initially, it was fueled by Tarzan Comics and Boys Life Magazine. I'm glad they didn't have video games in those days. <laughs> then books and newspapers. They all took me to places I had never imagined. James Michener took me to South Africa and to Hawaii. Biographies of Geronimo and Chief Joseph taught me much about family, courage, honor, and community. Through the Seattle Times storytelling, I followed the long journey of Billy Frank Jr. in his successful decades-long fight to restore salmon fishing treaty rights. This was my liberal arts education. Mostly it came from outside of formal education, but I was very fortunate to be raised by a strong, independent, single mother who always nurtured my curiosity. Others aren't so fortunate making it essential that we invest in liberal arts and that we have balance with STEM-type professional programs in our higher education system. We have serious societal and economic disparities in our country and in Washington State, disparities that we can only overcome with a well-funded, high-quality, accessible post-secondary -education, post education system which embraces liberal arts. Liberal arts in our colleges are not an add-on. They are essential companion to the technical degrees and technical skills. So congratulations to the Washington Consortium for the Liberal Arts uh, and Michael Zimmerman. This is uh, phenomenal what you all have done. I need to give a shout out to your employer and my old friend Les Pierce. Uh, and thank you to the Phi Beta Kappa Society for allowing a garden variety C student to rub shoulders with you. Thank you.